we recommend this installation being performed by a plumbing professional and according to local plumbing codes and standards. You have just installed the Streamlabs app and successfully connected your control to Wi-Fi. Still haven't completed this step? Check out the Streamlabs control app and Wi-Fi setup video. First, locate the main water entry line in your basement, utility closet, garage, or crawl space. The main water entry line is typically near your water heater. The control can be installed horizontally or vertically. Locate the main shutoff valve on the supply line and turn it to the off position. Now go ahead and drain your pipes to relieve water pressure. To do this, go to the farthest bathroom and turn on the cold water at the faucet or tub and allow all the water to drain. Make sure to leave the fixture open throughout installation. Your control installation site should be located on the main water line, downstream of the main shutoff valve, PRV, and prior to any branches. Make sure that a wall outlet is accessible and that you have a strong Wi-Fi connection at the install location. If installing a control with shark bite connections, refer to the pipe cutout table in your setup and installation guide provided in your Streamlabs control box. The next step requires pipe cutting. It is highly recommended you grab a five gallon bucket to catch the water that will come out of the pipe. Place the bucket underneath the pipe you are about to cut. Next, squarely and evenly cut and remove the pipe section where the control will be installed. Next, install the unions onto the cut section of pipe. If using shark bite unions, refer to the making a shark bite connection section in the setup and installation guide. Place a gasket into each union and insert the control between the unions. Make sure the device is installed with the directional arrow found on the bottom of the unit pointing toward the direction of water flow. Next, thread the unions by hand onto each side of the control. Be sure to fully tighten the union nuts with a wrench. Turn the main water supply shutoff valve to the on position and check the installation site for leaks. Walk back to the bathroom and leave the water running until the air is fully flushed from the water line. Then shut off the water. Generally, this is when the water will return to normal flow. Plug in the power supply to the nearest wall outlet and then into the control. The control will automatically reconnect to Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi icon will turn green. Let's run a test by manually opening and closing the valve using the touch panel on the device. Once complete, return to the Streamlabs app to calibrate the control and adjust your leak alert settings. Now you can monitor water usage, remotely shut off your water, and have peace of mind when leaving your house unattended.